But for TSM, they're still looking to hit and hit hard. Rossi from Tower with the key. Yeah. But it's Spike goes to respond back in kind. Brock in a little bit of a weird spot, kind of hanging out in the back side of the site, and Wardell walking down his name with the ghost. Turns that into two, and then the third just headshots on lock. Up just a bit wide, but 3B Tower comes through, and as Ryan looks to see what's happening through eight halls, he gets gravity weld. Flash into Koala. For play, Brock has actually re-cleared this. Should have at least one for free. And as Koala Noob keeps their life and gets back around towards A, there's now a big defensive advantage when it comes down to playing from the north side of the map. Just comes down to can you actually hold this B site for Brock's position? Yes, yeah, the thing. You know, equal man counts. It's all going to come down the trades. Fault lines being exchanged, but they're not landing the mark. So Aleko able to pick Brock off there. That's going to give man advantage back over to TSM. We will begin the planning process. Defense will try to move in off the back of that. Nismo finds this man. Two on two. Koala is already pushing forward, trying to split up how this hit's going to come through. First kill will be oh. still holds position at B Tower. Nismo toggles. He thinks he's completely cleared Tower, and that's not oh. the case. Sneaky angles from Alec. We'll have a 5-on-5 five five post play here with Superior Firepower, but I feel like Ghost has done as well as they can, and Koala does get the hit, and that's a great stun. And the utility can still be massive for Ghost on this retake. Keep that in mind. Koala, a double. Cross. Flash will come through. Sabrosa asks the question, does not provide the answer. One for one. And now it's just down to Wardell, and a Thrifty comes through from Ghost. In the spawn yeah. area. It's going to come down the timing, though, Nismo. Sabrosa trying to sneak through. Does catch a headshot. That's going to drop the fit. Ryan up top. Keeps the defense alive. Oh, the is going to save for a moment there. Flex the elimination. Rolling Thunder comes through. Spike still not planted. Nismo now rotating over. And it's going to be an off rocket through. It does connect for damage, but no kills. And Wardell oh. comes back out looking to rotate. He does get through to ropes, but the thing is, your Spike here is still stuck in their own Viper's Pit. Yeah, they do get it out, but it's just getting it down. It's going to be tough, and Nismo has such a great spot here. If Rossi commits, he could die, and indeed the timing favors him. And now Wardell just has nothing he can do. Might as well go out on your sword. It is a free op the map they're coming from both fronts dueling oh I was about to say the fault lines in the same positions again but Nismo we're gonna have to now fight for with the let go to Wardell but they're ready for it you can see Wardell scoped yeah, in are. anticipating this and they find the first second one comes on the corner but it's Koala for the double that's also information on the spike being down John on the rotation through his spawn headhunter in hand for him Sabrosa's timing is going to be perfect so kills are decent. Aftershock also, pardon me, the uh, Nova Pulse will come out as well, but Koala Noob sidesteps it. Now back through the Purple Divide. Rossi collects the spike, but he's now stuck between both Ghost Defenders. Yeah, and Brock slipped in here into sight. Rossi having no idea, no time to clear. They never really knew when can be used for a drop play. They're more than ready for it because they have a Hall's control. Yep. Hey, okay, they're actually all four rotating together towards B tree position as well as inside tunnel and so TSM may have waited a little bit too long here Ryan will pick off Rossi enemy remaining. Spike down, and Rossi beat. was the sole rifler in this setup Sabrosa now maybe an opportunity for something incredible the pistols and boy he provides spike will be collected fence is split up though he might get a 1v1 if John Cutie's not careful okay it's the plat last two members for ghost they spam it nothing connects Sabrosa for the 1v2, finds the first and then the second, Sabrosa for four! Red Bull Clutch and TSM tie it! Through a halls, although TSM still are putting them a bit of a threat. Showstopper comes out, Aleko for the first, Corey for the second, and Ismo has to back away. Yeah, this is just big space being taken by TSM, clean entries on this 5-on-3 spike. Rosa looking to check this, fault line comes up, they get the read, it's Sabrosa still with the last two. Yeah. Yep. That will have to be the call. Going to be from mid through this A doorway. Rossi, that's a huge first pickup on a John. It's also going to stall the inevitable rolling thunder that comes out. And there it is. It's actually going to be enough for them to get in towards Hall's first and foremost. Wardell not able to answer to the push. And so it falls onto Sabrosa again. This time a 1v4. Time is becoming a bit of an issue. Maybe almost the lineup for the first two. But it's Ryan for the elimination. And go. Venn diagram of Cosmic Divides as we see TSM trying to slice inside. Look at this little pocket. Oh, never mind. I thought Quality New actually had like a little little hidey hole there, but now we have a crazy exchange, but Corey does get control of sight. Oh, and that aftershock should delay the inevitable plant, but Sabrosa holding the long angle by ropes. 
Pally's up too, and then just a bit of miss on the headhunter. Get to be ready for that. We'll see if they can get it done this time around here. Brock able to find oh. first blood there on the aftershock of Corey. Viper Spit goes down on B side to make this retake a little bit tougher to navigate. But still a man advantage for Ghost nonetheless, with still plenty of utility to spin. Oh! And Wardell takes Ryan, just as the Nebula, I think, was fully engulfed in the sights of Broza. Brock catches the shoulder, but Koala Noob able to catch a timing to get at least one trade into play. Wardell still holding through main. Not going to get Nismo. 3v2. Defensive numbers are good, but the snake bite does deny it, turning it into a 2v2. Sabroza outside of Viper's pit. Catches Nismo for a small second. Still holding for the defuse, though. Oh Rossi God. doesn't check it. That's tough. Back over. Ryan close. The play from TSM coming immediately through tunnel. Ryan oh. just caught swapping weapons. It is a two for two exchange, though, in the spawn. Maybe potentially open to rotate through. Don Cutie, big shot there. Nice flash comes in, but Nismo and company still landing the mark despite being stunned there by Aleko. Now it's all a will come through, and as you mentioned, fault line comes back into play. Spike planted. First shots. Or John's still up top of tower. He's got an idea and at least a look at where this spike would be challenged from. I'll post it up with the Vandal. Nebula will block his vision. He's trying to see if he can't play around it just a little bit here. Meanwhile, we do see Subrosa and Rossi making some aggressive moves here. Bottom side B, a little bit of an early exchange. Favors TSM. They come on Cutie. Well, let's exchange. No one falls just yet. Spike about to make its way to play. Oh, but Corey with the repeat takes Brock off the map. Paint shells are going to get there a little bit late, but it does at least flush out Nismo and actually probably could have finished the job off. Just down to John, try to hold for a 1v4. Playing this from main, avoids the fault line, takes care of Corey. Second challenger is Wardell, and that's where the 1v4 will come. Wardell still holding close. Flash comes through. Nobody checks the tight right corner, and Wardell will feast off of it for two. Ryan responds. Spike, though, has been planted. We go 3v4, and a Viper's pick gets called in. Now, Leko, the question of how do you clear through? Wallodoom's going to be completely concussed up, but avoids the rolling thunder, finds one, but not getting the second, and with that, the trades will come dodge. Now, Wardell, Tour de Force out, also has an AR if he needs it. Uh, yep. Sees the shoulder of one, but gets pulled away from the... F yeah, though, this paint shell's going to come in and probably do some hefty damage to those players still on sight, and, you know, this position that Wardell has anchored has given them such a great foothold to still make this retake happen. Even with it being a four on four, but oh, Nismo, what, what a swing! And he's still got the classic out trying to force the fight. It's denied. John's still on site. The 3v2, but two low health pools for Ghost. Mean that there's still an opportunity for Sabrosa and Aleko to try to keep this clutch going. Aleko's just gonna hold, and no one is going to check. And he still gets the two kill. First point of contact through bench this time. And TSM have creds do as Ryan trying to ninja his way up here will be spotted. Nice snake fight from Rossi. They tried to decide to push through it, and it's going to be costly. TSM can afford those kinds of trades right now. They're already a man up. Spike, though, still collected. John playing for the plant. Paint shells over the top. One enemy oh, that'll boy. be enough for the kill. Just down to Koala. 1v3. Does have one snake fight to play with, trying to regenerate the poison as much as humanly possible, but nah, this is not enough in the uh, investing into that. You've I should be. Today. Yeah, I might have to do a little bit of a, a little bit of something. I won't shout me out for free. I won't do that. <laughs> but here do we go. Do or die time for Ghost yes. Gaming. There's so many things that they get them a little bit more comfortability to clear out angles. But Wardell looking to disrupt that dish yet again. Gets his kill. Spots a second. You know he's gonna have a repeat. You know he is. He just pushes him off the spot, tanks to grab well. Corey pushes top side as well. Sub Rose has found a kill on the bottom. I mean, TSM's everywhere. They're everywhere, dude. Yeah. Uh oh, it's <laughs> oh, 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 coming through! They're all coming through! <laughs> oh no! But I like both. Look at this push here. Caves. Poison TSM gone. had no preparation for that this fast. Literally. So look at this though for TSM one, the response. But, yeah, right through mid map and a kill to boot with it. Yeah, now they're going to double back to B, which is softened up pretty severely, and the Rosa might be able to cut the rotates oh. at door! Oh my oh. goodness, TSM! You know what? I like the craftiness of handling getting pushed A, you know, having a bad situation, and then making the most out of it with pressure any somewhere else on the map.
Just all right. Just blows John off the map. <laughs> there you go. And does catch a shoulder of Wardell. Now making the play forward. Could isolate. Even a chance to even isolate the second, but the shot's not quite there. Sabrosa for Farmer. Act. Holy Ryan just almost got an ear blown off, but Sabrosa still punishes. On top of like Waller that. using this toxic screen for a cheeky angle, is able to respond. Brock all that goes not like it comes down to Rossi. Here yet. It comes down to what Rossi can accomplish, and it may, he may not have time. Yeah. He's got to hurry. These flashes over the top are going to provide a lot of distraction, and Corey, now the last one standing. 1v3 on the table for him, gets two. Plenty of time to grab the spike and potentially plant, and he will use the updraft to just back away. Pardon me, the dash to back away. Time to play for sound cues. John, a mystery on stage, oh! but it doesn't matter! This is a round where you've got to find some response. You've got an operator to play with. You still have Corey holding onto a marshal for a crying out loud. No more. And you've got some mid-pressure starting to develop through vent lines and break this up. It could get scary again for Ghost. Ah, oh, but Nismo's watching the crossfire. Not a lot of time for Wardell to get this spike back, and he is going to get taken down. So now it's just down to make point of contact through mid. Yep. And for Let's one, bring one down. Yep. Yeah, so forcing a couple of rebuys there. Trying to see if maybe he can find somebody else. Push back for Walla for now. Tour shot also a bit amiss, but Ryan still pushing through. Actually catches Rossi. That's enough for the Viper's pit to be called in immediate response. Well, to be fair, off. Ryan kind of traps himself in a position where he's got to play in one spot in front of Caves, and TSM yep. can still rotate around this. And as and now they have a they do collect the kill mid, they've gotten completely isolated. You got to find kills here for games. It's done. It's done. One Fragment will split them apart. Let go last one left alive. Long range shots as he's flashed up will not amount to anything. Go aggression from Koala through mid. Gets a chance, capitalizes on it. Koala Noob has a great little angle here at Pyramid, but the time he could catch him off guard. Yeah, he's already yeah. looked at double stack, wasn't ready for Sabrosa to peek that. Ryan playing Pyramid still, though. So still a chance to defend this if Ryan can find a good timing. Steps through the wall, but Rossi catches him. Viper's pit goes down, spike to be planted, and TSM have the edge. Planted. Hunter's Fury desperately thrown across. It does take down Rossi. Wow. The Viper's Pit will be taken out. And he actually gets a connection and a player in caves. That's Sabrosa who's now down to about a one shot. Null Command will come out. Nismo, Brock, and John on the way in. First blood, good. Wardell drops. The Shock Dart takes care of Sabrosa. And it's just Aleko. Deep side. And they get a read on it. Oh my. Wow. What a retake. Yeah, what a retake. The defender's off of A through mid. And I was about to say they're walking right into line of Sabrosa. Even trade for now, Corey. A huge opportunity, but he misses out on it and cannot tailwind back far enough. Ks? I... Question. I don't know. Yeah, the only other thing I can think of is he has a type of here. snake. Hold on. Wardell's going to possibly still clutch this all up. There's no time for a defense. Wardell still gets the triple. That's two of their five rounds right there. Don Cutie. Trying to get cute. We'll do it. More opportunities in front of him. Aldrone's going to come forward. TSM still looking to put the pressure on. The dash in. Denied as Nismo finds elimination. Softball tosses out the flash. Brock catches his straight. And this is why we do not see a lot of attackers. Here comes TSM on the quick approach over towards A. First blood good. Nismo dropping immediately. Brock back of the site. Gets figured out, but is able to at least hold off some of this attack from TSM. And now Koala Noob is in a position from that peak through mid to actually scope out through mid up doors. John on the flank, and TSM will commit to the plant 3v3. There comes the call. Over the top. Not going to be able to connect. Viper's pit goes up. Aleko from his key position in the back finds the first elimination of this retake. is still holding in between the pyramids in a position to keep this Viper's pit play alive. And that will be all that's needed as TSM take their this house or TSM from the front doors. Aldrin on the way in. Spike is a part of this, but then John will not. Yeah, again, they've been good at these reactions where if something goes wrong, they're able to just immediately react back to the other side. The problem is Ryan gets his man and gets the Viper's pit down on site, making it tough now for TSM to make this pivot work. But go Ryan, low on health of Corey can just finish it off. He silence the pit, and indeed he will. There's still a man down, however. That's the other problem that they're facing as they're trying to get some control of this site to get this spike down safely, but they're just getting threatened by too many angles. It's tough to get it in 
still aren't able to plan. Oh, the thing that's about it, I was about to say, like, it's two operators. Can you fully retake? But, yeah, the spike does not fully go down. Couple of tags back and forth. Very dangerous game of tag, in fact. And then Nismo around the back does pick up Aleko. And the defense for TSM are not letting up. They're going to hit right through mid, trying to cut this offense into two pieces. And if Ghosts are not prepared, this could be their demise. The spike is down. And it's just about trying to delay this for as long as humanly possible. And to be honest, Ghosts have done a pretty solid job of it. These trades are okay. What? Focus on the play through double doors. Peeks up, finds the kill. It's clean. Recon bolt down. Wardell will be revealed by this. Trying to hold it. Trying to hold it. And then he pulls We are here for it. You are it's right. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Good point of contact. Squala finds first blood. Let's go still in sight. No problem. He's actually done a little bit of chip damage. And yeah, John's just going to wait to open this door through. Ryan off the side of the pyramid's good for the first. Squall and also getting involved, and that will be just about it as John finally makes his play. It's four straight kills. He is not out of danger yet. Nice shot. What a flick that is on the Koala. He's played a that huge so first smart. killed. Oh, they have no idea. Wardell's behind, but he's missing. Oh, no. It's Corey, my fault. I'm used to a jet being on TSM being Wardell. My mistake, but maybe still some hope. Thing is now he's just got a pistol. And he hits with a pistol? Okay. This is nearby that they can even plant yet. Recon bolt will force Sabrosa forward and he takes the first. Does not these Wardell drop down. That's the time to now get the plant off. Here's the footsteps. Down to the peak and Wardell just I don't think it made it far enough. Yeah, you're right. But now they know what's going on. All drone comes out, but oh, John QD <laughs> catches Corey at mid. And then the follow-up as well. Null command as part of the hit. Clean take from Ghost. Wardell still playing through double doors. Aleko moving very quick position forward. But does not expect this, but a re-peek through. Toggling for the spike. Aleko moving forward. Takes another with him, but that will be all that will be found. Ghost Gaming. The thing about this is, Zaleko reveals his position. It's Corey behind him, and then... We've got Sabrosa on sight! Sabrosa for one. Hunter's Fury trying to be used for Ghost to push him out, and it does actually tag, but the flash allows Sabrosa a chance to change up the angle. Not going to make a difference, though. Ryan collects the kill, and what was supposed to be a major run for TSM has turned up largely in favor of Ghost Gaming for now. Four. And so now it really is all on Corey to play, and... Well... Hold on! Well. Hold on! That'll get him into sight. Recon Bolt, not in the greatest of positions, allows Corey a chance to get on. Trying to stick for this. It's going to be the Shock Dart Snake Bite combination. Corey will drop. Now down to Rossi. Has to make the play quickly. It's a Shock Dart to the face! Ace. That Shock Dart was just stuck to him, bro, like Velcro. My goodness. Don't see that too often. Just getting wrecked in the air by a Shock Dart. No bounces required. <laughs> Oof. What a round. Yeah. Is TSM getting worried about this at the moment for TSM. And John's out. Yeah, John has caused so much of a disturbance just by himself in eight halls. Like you said, it pulled so much of TSM's personnel trying to catch him, trying to flush him out. And now he's still alive defending the doors. And he gets that. I mean, that is just such wow. impact from John Cutie. Now, Wardell gets the trade back, but the damage is already done. Ryan playing super far back for maybe a clutch spot. Also watching the flank. Flash out for Nismo. Gets one. Reed maybe on the second. No, Rossi's there for the trade. 3v3 we go. But you got to go quickly for TSM. Time is running out. Wardell's still worried about what's happening mid-map. Koala flicks away. Trying to stick. Nice shot from Corey. Or on to Corey, rather, from the shock dart. It's Wardell in no time. Impressive shot, but it's not going to make a difference. Ghost Gaming are going to take map two. 13 to 8. Here we go. Ghost, quick attack over and through B. TSM looking to respond, a lot of it's just by spam shots, of which Corey is able to find one. That's the spike carry that's down. Wardell looking to move forward, but immediately responded to as Brock gets the trade. And with that, spike gets collected and should be planted here as well. Yeah, Brock catching Aleko coming, trying to storm out market rapidly. Everything has fallen for TSM. Brock not done, looking for more Jeez. with the burst. Rossi in trouble in the market. And eventually finished off by Nismo. Some Gs. Oh, but Corey's just aggressive. Just holding kind of just a dry angle, and then Ryan just walks and backs up into Aleko. Oh, boy. Brock oh finds boy. one. Shock dart up and over. But this is a very difficult 1v4 at this point. The entire hit for Ghost Gaming was just immediately countered. Yeah. If you were wondering if a way to fall back and play for retake, he's stuck in here. Oh, boy. That's... 
Okay. Hold on. The response comes through, but Sayoleko gets every bit of information he could possibly want and more, but it does not make a difference. One for one, and then Nismo on the rebreak into B finds Wardell peeking, and with that, it's got a 4v3 post plant setup for Ghost Gaming. Now Wardell is trying to play as the Astro Stalls get laid down in the back to smoke it off. Shut down. Does not matter. The bullet holes, which is the Odin holding on the front line. Corey gets an elimination, dashes away. Rossi from the side staircase. The flank coming around the back. That's from Ryan. But it's down to how do you clear off this pillar's position? Toggling for the spike defusal. Rossi moving forward. Needs to clear off the second if they want to have a chance at this. But it's Ryan on the flank who makes things just a little bit too interesting. Rose's angle could allow him a chance, but it's a Hunter's Fury. That will be the finishing punch there. A bit overkill, you feel like. But that's also used to also help out middle. So... Good eliminations for Ghost. They find themselves in a 4v3. They still have a foothold to try to retake from as we see this rotation from Corey. Spam through the nebula. Both teams receive a casualty in all this, and it's just getting real dicey at this point. So much spam through this doorway. Holy. It's even trade it again now to a 1v1. Thing is, Corey's fully healthy and just above Nismo, who tries to play for a sound cue, has no idea where Corey is and gets a look at him, but. Well, let go up top early. The Nines will trade. Sabroza. Oh up boy. Flash oh boy. Comes through Sabroza. Not as polished as he would have liked to have seen. But Koala does get at least one trade. Right click. Gonna miss. Rossi uh, did not fully see Ryan on the corner. Counter flash comes through. Nismo wants the reach out. And uh, with that. That's fair. That's my guess anyway. Uh, unfortunately, he How gets trapped. Though, he's caught out. Yeah, <laughs> but that gets caught too. MT. All the aggression. Oh, but this Hunter's Fury is coming right down Main Street. And it not just gets a kill, it finds damage on the other two. Wardell still committing to try to get into the site. And it's a bold call for him. But you know you can hit the quick scopes. Gets one. Holding out through sidewalk. Recon bolt comes out. Aleko spamming. Finds one. Wardell at the re-aim. Takes down another. Nisbo in the null command. 1v2 and we'll get the spike plan off just in the nick of time. Bank. They're going to be coming from the defensive spawn because technically speaking that knife does not catch over towards mid-market But he's holding for it doesn't make a difference. It's a double challenge Rossi takes the final blow Don't get shots. So they don't know about Wardell's angle and that's a big pick. He pushed Yep Corey mid-map Not able to get anything so two for one the exchange that leads to what should be a plant Ah, but as I say Brock is supposed to be watching the flank. He doesn't expect the super long flank and he called up Sabrosa's push through. Impactful to read the flank and the fake at the same time. And now John, who's still stuck on the opening health that he got essentially chewed away by Aleko. Not that he could do there, stuck at B main. And the null that comes out actually stops any utility oh. from being used to slow this down. But the spam shots from Aleko are good. The counter shock darts don't really find much of anything. Brock oh trying to come God. to the nebula also gets... He's caught out as well, and he will be isolated and likely picked apart. There it is, Subrosa. Bait and switch with his teammate. Five on two now. Oh. Oh, Nismo should be able to get two here. No problem. He very well may get a third, but you got to make the decision when you're going to go for this. There's the three. No. Rossi. By the way, that was 100% a vandal headshot that connected. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, now, Aleko. Uh oh one. Yeah, not looking good. The rest of the attack trying to come up through Catwalk, but there's a great crossfire here on the door. It's being whoa, broken whoa. off. Koala with the daggers gets it back into a... And now a three on two, and they'll be able to get Spike back. No problem. Think about this as Aleko is already close by. Who sees who first? There it is. Koala Noob just catches the backside of Aleko. Spleen completion. It's going to have to be something unbelievable, though, for Mordell. Koala Noob. Playing with some elevation. Misses the Fury to try to clear off some of these angles inside the A site. And it does look like some of it did connect on the Sabrosa. The Koala will be the first blood nonetheless. Corey with blades. Trying to play this through tree. Gets traded back and forth. We go to an early 3v3. But Rossi's still holding his ground. It's Ross top. Looking for maybe an exit off of where Brock decides to go. But he holds this one close. And it's Aleko now playing through tree. Wardell up top. Doesn't oh expect Nismo to be holding into a corner. But still gets one elimination. Does not matter though. This for bracket on the line. As you see Ghost getting real aggro here out B lobby. Oh, but the kills are just not coming through. Wallace still wants to stick for this, and what a shock dart that is in support from Brock. So many low health pools. Turns the trades favorably to Ghost's defense. Wardell, no chance as he took the last one. Back halls with the Trailblazer that you may have seen them double back the spike to A because they were still like towards spawn, I think, at that time, but... Nonetheless, it all works out. It's a pop early. 
Yes, sir, but it's in combination of Brock. They try to flush players into Koala Noob's line of sight, and it works out well for them. Corey trying to move with the daggers, but not going to find anything as John shut. Zero point comes in as well. Oh. Yeah, I mean. Oh, I was about to say, maybe there's a chance for Lucky to get some more spam work done, but Fragments, Shock Darts, flush them backwards. Wardell, just too many to handle. With the Recon Bolt, Koala Noob pressures Ryan. Tries to sneak through this with the Judge, finds one, but does get traded. Koala Noob over the side of the Nebula, not going to find anything there. Now flashing through, here comes Nismo. Trying to fool the retake, gets two flats, and then a third for Nismo! ability to use to try to delay this spike plan, including the Hunter's Fury, depending on the timing of all of this. Sees one cross. Ah, but oh. then John. I was about to say, if he gets John there, he's got yes. all the tools needed to fully clutch up and stop Koala. Right. How many players were just suppressed over through B main? So, Tour comes out. John makes good use of it. Takes down. Watch this initial hit. Flash comes through. Tries to time it out. Not going to find it. Koala on the opposite cross. <laughs> they didn't expect the double sniper setup here. And then John actually gets over to the rifle that he's holding in the back pocket and takes care of Corey's pressure through tree. So now all of a sudden, you're just down to one. Aleko on the site, last one left, and nothing found. So they give Hori Hero Vandal? Falls, there's really no way you can recollect this weapon, so a lot riding on what exactly you're gonna get from Hori. And in the same moment, ghosts get aggressive. Timing. The problem is Spike is down, found it. and it's in defensive spawn, and it's outside A. I don't know why it was by itself over there in the first place. That seems bonkers to me. To get information off this recon bolt for Aleko. Corey's going to be playing this close corner. Ryan's going to be pushed forward and he tries to avoid they didn't get it. being peaked in the first place. But do they know John's in the back? Well, now they do. It's up to Aleko. Got to do something special uh, and he just... I mean, if Corey could have just taken like one more step forward to get Spike before he dashed back, that could have been five half. Remember that. Now we're at 12-8. Opening Hunter's Fury, though. Trademark there. Blocks it with... The smoke, but John Kitty finds a pick on the opposing side. Corey now trying to sneak up Cat, but Brock here ready to go. Oh, they've spammed Corey down to critical health. This looks Good so crossfire disjointed. setup. It's just, it's this is it. This is the whole hit for TSM. Last chance. Saloon Nismo for the double, and nowhere for Ross.